What up, and this is John Chabot, IBS Kelso coming back with another MX Bikes banger. Now, before you adjust your phone brightness to change your monitor settings, yes, I am black and playing a dirt bike game. And today, I do apologize about the shades, this light is bright. Um, I will be taking the camera on and off just to show you guys the settings just in case the camera gets in front of uh, it. But this is my, this is Kelso's uh, settings video. And I got some pretty important stuff to show you. Um, I think the biggest thing you need right now is the thing that is on the screen. This is Dual SX or DSX. It is a $5 application that you need on Steam probably the best five dollars i've ever spent for mx bikes um with that being said i'll go ahead and show it and i won't make this video any longer than it has to be but i really wanted to get forward with this first and the thing that i showed shout out to my boy murph i uh, had me go over to sense two key to make a profile name just like oc spray or whatever you want to call it but the biggest thing is you want to change this delay to milliseconds from 64 to 1. this is your input delay to your controller never knew that you can actually make your input delay from all the way up from 64 down to one millisecond it's a huge thing definitely give it a go um i'm telling you right now it kind of changed the game for me after that um and i exported the file it automatically links up i do have my controller wired um but this is a huge thing and then i'll go ahead and go to my settings thing what happens with xbox controllers to ps5 controllers you really want to change your gyroscope i think additionally uh i think it's hold on let me find it correctly it's gyroscope all right so you want to go to controller then you want to go to gyroscope and what gyroscope is is it basically is that additionally five to five and that's basically your analog sticks of like i don't even know how to explain it dude but um leaning and all that stuff like more since your gyroscope ex uh accelerator and sensitivity is basically like how much more how much more like input you have on it so i turned it from five down to three and three um i definitely recommend this give dsx um but let's get right into the settings i just wanted to give this extra tip right in the beginning just in case you wanted to spend the five dollars this is not recommended it's not meant it is recommended but it's not mandatory um but it is something that really helped me out lately and uh yeah with that being said let's go ahead and get into settings though um not that bad boy uh let's go here and i'll go ahead and turn the camera off but yeah, I'll try my best to kind of just go through what I do and uh, why I like it. Um, lean is on my left, on my left analog stick. Uh, I usually do the outwards. So if you mess around and you go the inwards, make sure you do the outwards. I do right triggers throttle. So that's the bottom part, right? And then I move, you know, and then left trigger is going to be a uh, brake. And then my rear brake is just bind. Uh, it shows Xbox right now, but I am on a PS5 controller. It shows Xbox. I don't know why, but my A, tr my A trigger or my A button is actually my X button. So I press X to rear brake. It's usually just something if I need it to only press my rear brake in the air. Clutch is circle. Clutch is circle. I know it's different. So if you guys have that, then you guys already know it's Xbox. Uh, my lean. So yeah, make sure these are both uh, pointed outwards. You know, lean up and lean down. Um, you'll see why, why I mean that later. Um, because if you have it inverted, then it'll do the other way. So you want to make sure you have it right. Direct lean I have on 65. I definitely recommend... 50 to start then start moving it up but i usually roughly go from 65 to 70 right now um yeah it kind of just works for me especially with the gyroscopes change um and the uh millisecond delay input so might not work just because if you don't want to buy that but yeah 50 to 70 is really where i go i got combined brakes 10 100 for the most part my settings really are probably similar to a lot of people um but dead zone all depends on like if you have any uh stick drift or not i don't have any stick drift so i probably could go down to one if i wanted to which i'll probably change right now just so you guys can see it probably go down to one but i'll stay on two just in case i need to practice because i think dead zone just messes a little bit linearity is 150 i got smooth on 60 60 92.2 percent if you guys need to pause at any time just do that um then i got my my throttle on zero dead zone with a linearity of 100 no smooth on 100 gain and then yeah we'll go over like i said just pause if you need to brake so that's my braking this you could see like how much i can break i probably could turn it down even more to probably get it like maybe like right here but they so far do not mess with me a lot i don't really have much braking issues um zero hundred smooth 30 10 and then gain 84 you probably could turn your gain down more that way you can really have less brakes um but personal preference rear brake same thing 88.3 that's the only thing i changed um and then clutch i don't think this really matters too much but you know smooth 50 release five gain um i don't i don't really touch that i got that off of like lens and then rider uh forward and back i have 10 100 then we got smooth 80 80 100 this is huge man make sure you guys put this smooth on 80 80 and what i'm rocking same thing for the uh 
downside it's gonna be the exact same thing 80 80 make sure you guys are doing that this is all for your right analog stick all for your right analog stick <clears throat> excuse me let me set let's go ahead and move over i do not do preload uh my shift buttons are gonna be up is bumper right bumper and then left bumper um you can do tr if you play claw you could do square and triangle i don't play claw, claw at all um i used to do a scuff controller so i had paddles but yeah that being said i do right and left bumper kind of just helps me out a lot i use a lot of my middle finger for throttle and all that good stuff k you really don't need that unless you're gonna put off um you know automatic start push bike is on the d-pad you know up and down sit is my right stick sit is my right stick uh, I do not do direct lean, so I mean direct sit. So what that means is I actually have to click every time I want to sit or stand. I think direct would be like I literally hold it down to sit and then undo it. I think it just kind of messes up if I want to go like standing up here. It just kind of feels weird to like put that much pressure um, leaning up like that or pushing down. I get, it's very weird. I'd rather not like put that much stress on my controller. Um, dab is F. Don't really need it. Reset is this button. It's my back button space uh track marker is basically just my space bar um i think because of something how the game just updated i can't put the middle anymore as like my track marker or anything so it's very weird but change view i have uh the right side or a change view is v you can just change your like from third person look back is uh basically my middle thing on the right side uh heading is left to right i think these are all like explanatory stuff tear off will be my left stick if you really want it to go into your files, I won't show this today. You could probably look something up, but you can go in your files if you never want dirt on your face again, where you can unbind, tear off, and you use the button for something else. But I will not do that. Triangle is my raise arm. Um, and then I really don't have much on here. Square. I think square is just for me to do a wind gesture. I think it's cool. <laughs> uh, trick. I don't even know. I don't know what I have that thing doing. But these are camera settings. If you want to take a quick screenshot and do these over, promise they're pretty self-explanatory right trigger left trigger this is for zooming in like really cool like trying to get thumbnails and stuff uh graphics this is my graphics what i run may vary depending on what monitor you have what pc you have but i run the highest since i am a streamer uh dynamic shadow reflections all up everything high 3d grass i don't do track screens unless like the, the server recommend uh, has it but it does uh put a tax on your game for some reason I have full screen resolution at 2560, 1440. That's what my monitor is rocking at right now with a 170 refresh rate with 32 bits. I got a no V-Sync on with Analyzing or Analyzing 16 with a resolution, uh, just regular resolution. I don't have it on anything else. I might have to play around with the screen ratio resolution. I might see the game at a completely different aspect. I know if you play Siege or something like that, you can always change it like 4-3. I know I run a lot of 4-3 on there and like I see the game in a whole different aspect. Might have to check that out. Might have to check that out. That's something that might get a little crazy. <laughs> but that being said, we have textures at high, tri trilinear, I'm um, in 16. Keep moving on guys. Uh, master volume 15. I think this is all personal preference as well. Um, this doesn't really matter down here with the controller. This is just like skip intro what I have and then I have the, you know, the date format, but US metric for when you're checking out uh, setups. That's usually, I put in US. I know a lot of people use UK or metric. Um, yeah, breaks, kind of just all personal preference at this point. Very high bandwidth, that way you can get into servers. Flags 20, help on. Um, yeah, this is just like whatever. Sorry for that voice crack. <coughs> I'm trying to get through this, man. Don't want this to make be like a super long video. Uh, field of view is 115. Um, I was running very high field of view, but then I realized I needed to get faster at the game. And I, so I started to turn it down. I think 115 is absolute for me right now. Um, I vary between 117 and 115, but I think when 115 is where it's at. Zero tilt, pitch 35. Corner anticipation is on. It makes you kind of look into the corner. It's actually really cool. Turn it on and turn it off. You really see a difference um, with lean heading on at 10%. Really trust me, bro. It, it makes a difference. It's really fun. I, I, I don't know it now, but like if I was to turn it off, I'd feel like really weird. Um, show rider stand is basically like what's going to be shown. Show rider stand is like basically what's going to be shown in the bottom right, whether you're standing or not. I don't do lock to bike, don't do dynamic. Uh, follow bike this is all like, you know, external, basically third person stuff. Distance 41, 46, zero. That doesn't really matter. Riding aids. This is huge. All right. You can put on whatever aids you want. I personally recommend automatic shift will mess you up a lot. Lean help if you're new. I say don't even start with lean help. I know like a lot of people say I recommend you to start with lean help because you're new. 
dude if you start with lean help and you take it off dude you're gonna have to relearn the whole like another 100 hours of trying to learn the game i recommend you go through the struggle now in your first 100 to 150 hours that way when you get pushing 200 or so you're actually you know pushing p and you're actually not under the under the class that you should be in never put lean help on man shift help definitely automatic clutch definitely automatic rider dab don't really know what it does but i keep it on and an automatic tire change yeah so don't do automatic sit i know some people who recommend it you can try it if you don't want to sit or it's too much advanced but you can always relearn when to sit and stand but i definitely see a huge learning curve when people take it off for the first time you really don't know when you need to stand or sit especially scrub harder uh, excuse me scrub harder you need to definitely scrub harder having a, a rider sit off so rider rider sit automatic would not give you that chance and you have to literally sit on your own or try to get used to that traction help don't need it on brake help just makes you go slower and all that good stuff so i just only have four on i'll show you guys so like a lap or so or kind of what i'm doing but I, I have seen a lot of improvement in my game i'm at 850 hours almost 900 but i will see it say that dsx thing that i bought in the beginning um definitely worth it and i actually had dsx for a very long time i used it for my scuff controller but never knew about the input delay never knew about the input delay going down to one millisecond i never knew about the gyroscope um that's a huge advantage so hopefully you guys take a look at that and hopefully you want to use it if you guys aren't going to buy a five dollar track buy a five dollar dsx i promise man that thing is worth it um but yeah man this is uh paris race day and these are my settings this is ibs kelso thank you guys for four thousand subs can't thank you guys enough and yeah we're just going to keep growing as a as a team man one team one fight type john so thank you guys so much for support I guess I'll wrap this up. I am changing over from the Kawasaki for Supercross to the KTM. Probably come out with a video on what's my plan of action for this. But yeah, other than that, thank you guys. It's your boy IBS Kelso, and I'll catch you guys all in the absolute next one. Up, 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 up,